Hello, hello, hello. James, the stream just started. I don't need you um, already yawning at me, okay? This is not something I need in my life right now. Alrighty. Cindy, how's it going? Mr. Dragon Blogger is in the chat. Like I just, you know what I mean, Cindy? Like I just got in here and he's already, and he's already uh, complaining. No, no, it's no. Don't try to bring it back now. You're complaining. I get it. Okay. I know what's going on here. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into some products today. Um. Justin, so in my little script that you gave me, it is showing uh, the Eufy G30, but that is not in this wheel. Eufy G30 is what it's showing first up here. Do you want me to just go ahead and move on? Yeah, it's just showing first. Uh, so that's the video that we're going to be taking a look at today, guys. How's everybody doing today? How has your week been? It is Wednesday. The majority of the work week is complete. So we are going to be coming up on the weekend here pretty soon. Alrighty. And it looks like we're going to go ahead and switch back over now to the Eufy by Anchor RoboVac G30. Like I said before, uh, guys, in the last stream, Anchor makes great products. And it looks like they have this um, kind of branding that they have with Eufy. Um, so let's go ahead and load up that video so we can get that going for you guys. There's a little Crocs right there from last video. And uh, speaking of Crocs, and uh, you guys know I like potatoes and all that, I got I got my bling going. Jennifer, how's it going? Why is why is she uh why is she yelling at um? No, I didn't get a haircut actually. But I'm assuming that means my hair looks good or no hat. Yeah, probably no hat, to be honest with you guys. All right, let's go ahead and load up the Eufy, Eufy G30. I say it different every time I say it. Eufy G30 RoboVac. It's just cleaning. It's just cleaning. It's just cleaning. It's just cleaning. You're not gonna let it do its job. So don't tell. No. No. Pumpkin has none of that. He wants none of that in his house. It's hilarious. Okay. Let it do its job. No, no. It's okay. It's okay, pumpkin. Pumpkin. No. No. Hey, you're not letting it do a show. Dude, nothing is safe. If, if, if you're. <laughs> If you if you have a vacuum in your house or anything that makes in Justin's house if it makes too loud of a noise, Pumpkin said not today. He doesn't. This is why I can't have a robot vacuum. Hey. And you know what's funny about this too is so when it, whenever you first run it, which I imagine this is the first time that Justin has ran it, it creates the map. Like it creates that depth map and it has been jolted around by pumpkins so much that the map is probably wild. It just has jagged spots every once in a while from him just destroying it. Hello. You know, it's still being efficient, still wants to do its thing, even though it's being bothered with. It's ignoring you, pumpkin. 
You're not going to stop it from doing its job. It will clean whether you bother it or not. It'll clean whether you bother it or not, pumpkin. It'll just work around you. The way it goes around the chair like Honestly, I'm just I'm just really intrigued by his floors. So it's awesome that he has this vacuum, but your floors like that ash wood look. It looks so nice. Just make sure it doesn't get doesn't get stuck. I like that. Bounces against the wall there. And it's sweeping. Kiwi doesn't bother with it. Kiwi doesn't bother with it. I, okay, you be a little rough with it. All right, guys, so that was the UFI G30 robot vacuum. As you guys can see here, um, it can take a beating and keep going. Um, so that's what actually, that that's what Pumpkin was doing, is he was just testing its rigidity. Um, that's like the first time I've ever said that word correct, rigidity. Yeah, he was testing its rigid, rigidity. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was testing that. So it looks like a great vacuum. And it has a crazy, crazy deal off right now, $80 off. Um, Anchor makes great products. I'm sure Justin would recommend it. Um, highly recommend getting that for yourself today, guys. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to the next vacuum. I mean, <laughs> not next vacuum. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the next product, and we're going to be taking a look at this microphone right here. So this is the Tonor TC20 set. So for $50, almost $50 off, right now what you can do is you can get this entire set that, let me get my camera over here a little bit. Lock to me. Here, let me let me turn my camera manually. So you can get this entire set right here. It's going to come with this boom arm. It's going to come with a cable to plug it in. It's going to come with a shock mount. It's going to come with um, whatever you call these. I can never remember uh, pop filters. So it just allows it to not have um, allows it to not have wind going through it. And you also get a mic sock right here. Um, so one of the coolest things about this mic, I didn't know when they sent it. Um, I didn't know they were sending it at all, actually. But Tonor usually makes USB microphones. This TC20 is actually a condenser uh, microphone, but it uses um, that standard audio port right here. So this is a non-USB, so you actually have to have... Um, you have to have a audio interface, but you get better quality out of it. So if you guys bear with me for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a product screen so we can do a microphone testing of this. And for $50, I think you guys will actually be really surprised with XLR, yeah, I couldn't think of it. I know that, Ed, I just couldn't think of it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to a product screen. You guys won't see me, but I am gonna go ahead and do a microphone check on this. All right, guys, so now we are using the Tonor TC20. This is a $50 microphone that you guys are hearing me through right now. Uh, this microphone sounds so good. I did a little bit of testing right before we did this video. Um, it sounds absolutely so good. And one of the coolest things is it does come with everything you need to get going except for your audio interface. But the fact that it comes with the pop filter, it comes with the wind sock, it comes with everything you need to get going right out of the box for 50 bucks. Um, it's crazy. I mean, this is the best quality I've seen from Toner. They make they make quality products in general. But the fact that this one is only 50 bucks and you get everything sounds amazing. So like I said, I did some vocal recordings before. And I was actually really surprised with the quality of this microphone. I'm actually going to leave it the way it's set up now um, for the next stream. So whenever I turn to this product cam, I won't have to use my microphone and turn my head. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be ta uh, taking a look at this microphone more in depth and seeing and tweaking with it. And I'm using NVIDIA broadcast with it right now, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I can't use two microphones with Invi NVIDIA broadcast at the same time. But yeah, like I said, guys, this is the Tonor TC20 microphone, XLR microphone. It sounds so good. I'm going to switch back over to the main screen and my Yeti X now. And you guys might actually hear a downgrade in quality, which is absolutely crazy to me. All right, guys, and now we are back with the Yeti X on my main screen. So, yeah, like I said, guys, that is the Tonor 
TC20. It sounds, I mean, it sounds ridiculous. I didn't know Tonor made an XLR microphone. Um, luckily, I had an audio interface. Otherwise, they just would have sent it to me and I wouldn't have been able to really test it for you guys. But yeah, I mean, for $50, you get all of that. So if you guys have been looking to get yourself um, a better setup for your Zoom calls, if you work from home, if you guys game, if you guys make product videos, content, anything like that, definitely check out this bundle from Tonor. TC20, almost $50 off right now. Um, there's only about 25% left of people that can get this bundle right now for 50 bucks. So definitely check that out. And thank you to Tonor for sponsoring, uh, sponsoring us and sending us that video. Yes, it is not USB. You will need something along the lines of an audio interface like this, the Audient Evo 4 or the Scarlett Rite or the Scarlett Focus Rite 2i2 or Solo. You will need something, but the quality from that, I mean, Justin, do you not think that's crazy? I, that thing sounds ridiculous. I was so surprised when I recorded with it. I was like, what? It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Super good quality, super good quality, highly recommend it. And we're gonna switch on to the next product, which is actually gonna be another pro um, product from, yeah, it does. As that as that sure, Mike? Yeah, it sounds crazy. We're gonna be go ahead and switching over to the Tonor, um, well, hold on one second. I always forget the model number of this one. There's really not a model number of this microphone, the TW620. We're gonna switch over to this wireless microphone right here. Um, so we do have a little bit of issues uh, being able to showcase what this microphone sounds like with you guys because uh, when they sent it, I didn't realize that this actually has to be plugged into like an amp. Uh, so as you guys can see here, it's got that longer auxiliary jack right there and then the wireless transmitter. It's super easy to use. I just don't have an amp to use it with. Maybe I'll get an amp to use it with so I can actually uh, use it like during product reviews when I when I stand up I could just have this as a scene stand up and walk around with this that actually be pretty cool and then wire the amp into my computer but this is definitely something that's going to be great for like obviously maybe not concert quality but this is going to be something that uh, if you guys do birthday parties or if you guys DJ there's a lot of uses for a wireless mic and this one is truly wireless so all you really have to do is plug this into an amp turn this on which all you have to do is just hold that power button as you can see the green lights flashing now and this microphone does take two double a batteries right here and you have a high low filter pass right here and then the power button as well super easy to set up i can't imagine it's going to be very difficult i just need to get an amp so i can yeah karaoke yeah i didn't think of the most obvious thing you can use this for karaoke there's so many things you can do with this. And for $42.99, I wish I could test the sound quality. Um, but I would imagine being that this microphone behind me sounds so good uh, in the $50 price range that this one for $40 is not going to sound much worse. If, if anything, it's going to sound exactly the same. They've, they've really been year by year by year. We've worked with them for a while. Tonor has been stepping up their quality on all of their stuff, their boom arms, their microphones, the shock mounts, everything's getting really good. So if you guys have been looking for a wireless microphone for whatever reason, if you guys wanna pretend that you're having a concert at home but you're really just singing to your dogs and they're looking at you funny, definitely check out this Toner wireless microphone. And I thought one of the cool things about it is it kinda of comes with this little, like this little grip thing that you can take off just so you can kind of just let it hang there and it's a little bit easier to hold. So it's pretty cool. Check this out if you guys have been looking for something like this. All right guys, and we're gonna go ahead and switch back over to the product cam where we're gonna be taking a look at this awesome Bluetooth portable speaker combo, alarm combo. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and switch over to the product cam now. All right guys, and now we're back to my TC20. So we're gonna go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way real quick. And as we move this out of the way, we will pull this out right here. So guys, this is the Lurs Go uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth speaker, portable speaker, uh, alarm clock, radio combo. Th th this is honestly a really packed product. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive into some of the features. So taking a look at the top here, you have a bunch of controls. You have alarm presets, alarm memory. You can set the time. You can do Bluetooth. Uh, you can do Bluetooth because it does have built-in Bluetooth speakers. 
volume control, tuning, and I'll kind of show you right here. This actually has a super long antenna. So this is long enough to where you could probably just run it out of your window and close your window enough where it actually wouldn't damage this um, antenna right here. But you can actually just hold the power button. And as you guys can see here, you might not be able to hear it because I'm not tuned into a radio station, but it's got full radio built into it. Might not be able to find a radio station right now. I kind of live in the middle of nowhere. And I don't want to play copyrighted music, obviously. I'm telling you guys, I live, like, you know I live remote when I don't even have radio stations popping up. It's probably why we have so many stream issues. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll switch over to Bluetooth. Let me grab my phone real quick because it's going to automatically pair since I've already had it paired up. And one of the coolest things about this too is that it is portable, so you don't have to run it off of your AC power. You can run this Bluetooth speaker off of battery power, which is which is nice. It'd be good for camping or an RV or something along those lines. Let's go ahead and switch over to Bluetooth now. Second. remember exactly what I had to do to get it on Bluetooth like I did the other day. We will figure it out though. Just give me one second. But anyways, how are you guys doing today? How's everybody? Anybody's got um tank goofballs. Everyone's everyone's uh guessing. See so yeah, I just had it paired the other day. Let me see. I'm sorry guys. I'm I just had it paired with my phone the other day, and I'm just trying to figure out how to get it back to, there we go. That's right. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull up some non-copyrighted music so you guys can kind of hear what this sounds like. I think it actually sounds really good. Copyright-free music, and here we go. I'm just going to go to this one. And honestly, you guys can see the speakers right here. This thing gets super, super loud, and it uses the same speakers for the alarm speaker. I mean, it gets really loud. I'm trying to get to, like, where there's actual music. There we go. We haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to create a song. I don't want to miss a beat. And I know we'll go. Yeah, so as you guys can see here, it actually sounds really good. Obviously, it's not going to sound as good over a microphone into your guys' headphones or whatever you're using. But trust me when I say this thing sounds really good. The alarm is super loud. So if you guys have been looking to get yourself a new alarm, uh, alarm system, um, Bluetooth speaker, FM radio combo, definitely check out this one from Lersgo. Uh, super awesome product, and I highly, highly recommend it. I might actually leave it in here just as a clock for the background. I think it looks pretty nice that way. All righty, let's switch back over to the live screen, guys. So what did you guys think of that? Oh, one second. So what did you guys think of that Lersgo product right here? I honestly think it's pretty cool. Definitely check it out. It's a good deal uh, for 40 bucks. It's almost $5 off right now. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to our next product now. We're going to be taking a look at the sunglasses that we looked at last, uh, last stream on Monday. So these are by Sojo. So these are a super, super good sunglass for um mari v thank you for the follow i really appreciate it you did aviator first oh yeah i did they almost look exactly the same in the small little yeah oh well okay don't don't switch back now justin so we're gonna be taking a look at these aviator frames right here there's not a lot to say about it no <laughs> go back Justin. <laughs> i'm sorry guys they look the same in the small little uh in the small little thing yeah, these are made by Sojos. These are actually really high quality for the price. I mean, 
you see a $14.99 price tag and you immediately assume they're going to be like gas station quality, but these are really not the case for these Sojos Aviator frames. Um, very solid construction. Even though these are really thin, they don't bend. They're super strong. And honestly, these are just a really nice classic Aviator look. As you guys can see here, I don't really rock the Aviator. I, uh, somebody was telling me last time that I, like I got to do the whole put them on. This is going to be a problem. I can't rock the, the aviators, but they do look good. My wife has been wearing them. I had to steal them from her today after I have after I had filmed a review a couple days ago of these. Um, but yeah, if you guys have been looking to get yourself some like new aviator sunglasses, these definitely are really nice. I have a big, big face, and these fit me really nice. Um, they look pretty good. I like the little crossbar right here. You don't see that very often. It looks really nice. Yeah, definitely check these out from Sojos. They're really nice. Now we're going to switch back to the square frame sunglasses by Sojos, and these are actually my favorite. So these, it's going to be kind of hard to tell, but these actually kind of have a braided design on the uh, frame arms right here. It almost looks like diamond. Obviously, it's not going to be diamond, but these ones are a lot different. So these are kind of like your um, regular Wayfarer sunglasses, but one of the cool things about this is the way the frame comes in, it's kind of at an angle. Usually they're more square or just a little bit rounded right here, but it also has this gold lining around it, which looks really nice. And I just think the color pattern of these ones look really cool. These are actually, I've been wearing these to work while I'm driving because I drive a lot for work. And I actually really like the way these ones look. For some reason, I know I don't look, I know I don't look like Daredevil, but I feel like Daredevil when I'm now, I don't feel blind, if that if that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I feel like these are like Daredevil sunglasses. Do they not look like the, the sunglasses he wears? Am I completely off? I think they look really nice. Charlie Cox, Daredevil, yeah. They look really cool. What did ever... Spoiler alert for um, Spider-Man No Way Home... If you guys have not seen Spider-Man No Way Home, turn the volume down now. What did you guys think of um, him just being the cameo that he was in for like a minute? <laughs> I thought it was the, the funniest part was when somebody threw that rock through the window and he caught it. And they said, how'd you do that? And he said, I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> that was one of my favorite scenes. But yeah, these, these sunglasses are definitely really nice. Um, one thing I did notice about them is it might not be a problem for you guys, but these are actually so dark like the the i guess the they're not polarized but the tint to these are so dark that when i'm driving down the road i can't see the radio station on my like on my cars uh or i can't see what song is playing because they tint so well so they definitely they definitely do what they're supposed to which is block out light um really nice sunglasses definitely check these out if you guys have been looking for a nice stylish new pair of sunglasses yeah Definitely check it out. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead next, and we're going to switch over to, um, yeah, are his dark red? Now I need dark red sunglasses. We're going to go ahead and switch over to this best year L-shaped computer desk. This is the desk that you guys see right here. You guys have not seen this feature, but as you guys can see down here, it does have built-in RGB. And one of the coolest things about it is it has a little remote that's kind of behind my desk right now, but you can actually switch this to a solid color. I just have it on this like little faded cycle, uh, but we have a video for this. So let's go ahead and switch over to that video. Let me get that video for you guys. I love this desk. I, I mean, I literally use it every single day. It's held up so well too for this price. 65 inch desk for 230 bucks. You guys, you guys really can't beat it. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am super excited to showcase to you guys the Gryo Gaming Desk by Bestier. This thing looks super awesome online, so let's go ahead and hop in. We'll get it built, set up, and we'll see what this thing's about. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start getting this thing built up. There's quite a few pieces, as you can see there, so let's jump in and get it done. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab one of these leg frames, and you're going to line it up with this little back support bracket, and you're just going to screw it in. It's pretty easy. All you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, and when you're done, this is what it's going to look like. And then what you want to do after you get one of these set up is you're going to go ahead and jump over to the next one. It will come with included screws that will tell you which screw goes where, so that's not an issue. And then once you're done, you'll see that you have these set up just like that.
All right, and continuing on, what you're going to do now is you're going to grab one of these cross support bars. What these cross support bars are going to do is they're going to allow a flat surface for the actual tabletop to lie on. It will come with screws like I showed you earlier, so just go ahead and grab All the right, I'm screws back, Sorry about and get that. it screwed in. One thing you want to make sure when you're screwing this in is you want these holes facing up. And uh, just a heads up real quick, guys. I just want to let you guys know that the secret word this week for the Xbox Series X giveaway is Amber Dragon. Again, one more time. The secret word for the Xbox Series X giveaway is Amber Dragon. If you don't have those up, then you're going to run into issues later. For now, right here on the other side, you're going to leave those unhooked. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this little half oval triangle shape bracket thing. And we're going to line them up with the holes on the unscrewed side that we just did. Because what this is going to do is it's going to allow it to penetrate through that little triangle frame. And when you're done with that, this is what it should look like. And one thing you want to make sure that I did wrong is make sure those little feet that are sticking out are on the bottom and not the top of that little triangle frame. So now we're ready to go ahead and get the wood tabletop pieces, and we're going to go ahead and put those on the table that we just built. So once you get those lined up, make sure that the holes are facing down because that's what we're going to screw into to align it with the frame. And you want to make sure you have no gaps whenever you're putting it on top of the frame. Otherwise, you'll just run into issues tightening them later. Those longer screws you just saw are going to go on the long set. One of the, one of the worst things about this desk was the fact that they sent it to me. So I actually built this desk completely backwards. You don't see it in the video because obviously I put that in there. But basically this desk was backwards and the leg frames that are underneath were inside of the desk. So it was super difficult to have to completely uninstall the desk or tear it down and rebuild it. But that's what I get for not reading the instructions. Sections and these short little screws are going to screw into the little triangle section right here. And then once you have those all screwed in, we're getting real close and we're almost done. So one thing that we're going to do now is we're going to install the little cup holder and the headset stand right here. This also comes with included screws. And what you want to do is just find the holes on the left side of the table and then go ahead and screw it in. And once you've got those screwed in, you're going to see right here that it's very stable. And I think it adds a nice feature to it. So we found a good spot for it. So let's go ahead and come back here in a second and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And as you can see here, we got everything set up. And right off of the bat, guys, honestly, this desk looks really, really awesome. I really love the wood. You guys, here's a fun fact. So that if you look under the light part of the desk right now, you can see a hole in the wall that I promise, even though some of you guys, especially Ed and Justin, might think that's from me raging, it's not. So when I had my old desk in that spot, in order to push back, because I didn't have a chair mat, in order to push back from the desk on carpet, I would use the wall all the time to do it. And one day I pushed back from the wall too hard and my foot just completely went straight through the wall. So that's fun. That up And right off of the bat, guys, honestly, this desk looks really, really awesome. I really love the wood grain texture on this. I really like the RGB LED under lights that kind of light it up and add a nice little ambience to the desk. I think it looks really clean, really simplistic, but modern at the same time. As you can see here, the cup holder works awesome. It doesn't quite fit these little round cups that you might see everywhere, but it works pretty cool nonetheless. And then your headset stand right there is just a nice added addition. We'll hop back over to the wood grain texture just so you can get an up-close shot of what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. And this is a gaming desk, so what would a review be if I didn't turn off the lights and show you the RGB? The RGB pattern that comes with this comes... And the way it looks right there is usually how I have my room set up. Um, being that it has that little under light, it, it creates an ambience in the room or your office like I've never seen before. I mean, it, it is so pleasing to look at whenever like your room is darker with a bunch of different modes and i think this thing looks really awesome this desk has been sturdy it's been really easy to build it's been easy to operate out of and i highly recommend it so if you guys want to check this thing out like i said just now i highly recommend it but for now right, i'm guys. gonna go ahead and yeah, get back to my gaming the, um, session and i will see you guys on the that next was video. the best see you guys year later. gaming desk if you guys have been looking for a new desk i know what i know i said gaming it doesn't have to be a gaming desk it can be a desk for anything you can turn off those lights if that's what you think makes it a gaming desk there's really nothing else about this desk that makes it a gaming desk um maybe the cup holder but a lot of desks that aren't gaming desks yeah pretty much justin i mean 
it is it is a great desk for gaming but it'd be a great desk otherwise the fact that you don't have to have this top shelf you don't have to have the cup holders on it's just a normal office desk it's a super high quality for the price highly recommend it we're gonna go ahead and switch yeah put rgb on a couch gaming couch <laughs> yeah. it's, it's that's true dude there's actually a new desk that came out secret labs secret labs uh they make awesome chairs they came out with a gaming desk and that's a gaming desk i don't know if you guys have seen it but it looks amazing. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to the next product. We're going to be talking about a steam mop from Toppin. This is a 10-in-1 detachable steam mop. Super awesome. We use it all the time. Uh, we're going to switch over to RGB Crocs. See, that would be amazing. We're going to go ahead and switch over now, though, to a uh, to this steam mop video. So it's going to be a video of me sitting in my chair showing you guys. Burned his mouth attacking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably. Pumpkin's a psychopath. Absolutely beastly steam mop that I have right here. This is made by Toppin or Topin. I don't know how you say it, but close enough. So this is exactly how... Real quick, guys. I just kind of noticed that usually my blinds are closed. But if you guys were to see somebody's face in there, would you guys let me know or just let me get murdered live on Amazon? Which one? sounds this is a steam mop there are some really cool features that i want to show you guys so i'll try to run through them as quickly as possible this thing is absolutely awesome so we'll just kind of start from the bottom and work our way up so on the bottom here you have this little green trim piece around it and what this actually does is this allows you to use this steam mop on carpet so basically what this does is just super smooth plastic so this is going to allow it allow it to I don't know. That's why. That's why I'm saying. I don't know. So somebody could have been looking in here the whole time. You know, maybe he's super excited about these products. Slide across carpet because this is gonna kind of sit recessed on the inside of it, and this is super smooth. So as you guys can see here. So I say remote. The town is actually decent size, but the town is remote. Like there's quite a bit of people in my town, but we're not close to any other town, like almost at all. Yeah, Spud Man. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I do have neighbors. Um, we have a pretty big yard though, so nobody's really close. Like three hundred feet, maybe. It's just moving around the carpet with absolutely zero, zero issues. So now, if you want to switch to hardwood ceramic, yeah, that's actually a good gauge. The nearest UPS store is sixty miles away. There is a UPS pickup location here in town. But it's actually it's like a broken down building, and they're a trucking company that just became a UPS authorized pickup location. It's sketchy. A tile, whatever it is, all you have to do to be able to do that is just basically pop this off, and now you're ready to go straight to your hardwood or your tile or anything like that. So this does have a little locking mechanism right here, so when you're storing it, it just pops in, pops out. These are actually removable, super easy. Just little Velcro and these little patterns right around here. It comes with two of these, so that's pretty cool that they included that. And all you have to do to put it back on is just simply line it up with that. I didn't do it too good of a job, so we're just going to go ahead and take that off. Right here is where the water infill goes. Super simple. All you have to do is just twist this, fill it up with water, turn it back on, and that's all you have to do. Now, this little knob right here. So I know you guys probably see the 3D printer in the background all the time. And in this video, you see another one. Um, and I'm going to recommend if you guys are looking to get a 3D printer, do not get the CR10 Smart, get the Ender series. Uh, by the way, Justin, those returned, right? Right here is going to increase the amount of steam. Moving on forward, you have your power switch right here, nothing special. And then you're going to have a handle, which this is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to show you guys this. But this little handle right here is gonna come in handy. You have your cable wind up all the way throughout here. And then this is completely adjustable. So if you know, you're shorter or taller, all you have to do is just push this in and adjust like that. I mean, that's literally all you have to do is push that in. Super simple to do that. You have your handle up here, the other portion of your kind of wire hang up or tie up right there. So now getting on to the coolest portion of this, what we're gonna do now is completely break this thing. I'm kidding, we're not gonna break it. This is a little bit difficult, but here on the bottom, you can actually 
detach the mop head itself. And then here you can detach the handle. So now what this is going to do is this machine actually, and when you turn it on, you're gonna know it's still heating everything up. Your baseboard, I mean, it's super, super hot, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, so being, I mean, seriously, look, look at this, guys. Look at how much steam this thing puts on. It's, it's crazy. Look at that. That's like, that is, uh, yeah, you, you can use it. There's so many attachments to it. Um, the fact that it, it, it so easily with like two buttons turns from a steam mop to a handheld steamer and it has a super, super long cord, like longer than your average vacuum cord. You can just get up like in your bathroom, clean tiles, floorboards. I mean, there's so much you can do with this machine. It has so many attachments. It has brush head attachments. I mean, this thing's awesome. Right there. And that's super hot. I mean, I can't keep my hand there for too long. Like I'm an airbender like Avatar. And I, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that it, it comes like the water gets hot enough that it's boiling, but, uh, it's, it's got to be close. I, I don't have an, like a way to measure the temperature, but it gets so hot that I, I can't, you can't keep your hand in front of it. I mean, it's super, super hot. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. So being that it turns in to a, from a mop. So yeah, guys, if you guys have been looking to get yourself like a new mop, a uh, steam mop, that's also, if you guys have been looking to get a new mop, and also a like a handheld steamer definitely check this one out with that 20% off its current price 20% off of $90 is $15 I think I don't know math is hard I think it's $15 don't quote me on that but um, under 70 to under $80 for sure definitely check out that one from Toppin uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to a portable door lock home security door lock <laughs> that was a mouthful all right, so this is gonna be another video for you guys. I am not the one that covered this, but this product is going to be from a company called Ace Mining. So let's go ahead and jump in and check this video out. All right, so I'm at one of my closet doors and this should work on any door that opens towards the user. So this is gonna be opening towards the direction of the lock. So you have two sections of teeth here, broad and small. I like I like the that dragon logo, uh, Mr. Dragon Blogger. That he looks like he could mess you up, but he also looks he looks like he's smug. Like, mm, yeah, I'm a dragon. Yeah. Small will fit in most applications. So you take these teeth, slide them in here, then get this out of the way. That will slide right there. Now, this is a perfect use case because this door, because of swelling and fitting and whatnot, doesn't quite fit, but I can still lock this. Right, like so. So this will prevent this door from opening. Wow, that's super interesting. That's cool. Opening, and because this is not intrusive, it doesn't require any extra screwing or sticky tape or anything, you can use this for traveling while you're at hotels or you're at you know, some other place where you wanna secure the inside of your door for whatever extra security you might need because it removes just as easily. Yeah, guys, so I mean, if you guys want a I wouldn't say fail safe, but a way to basically secure yourself. If you guys go to like, maybe like, like he's, like he said, Airbnbs or Verbos, um, and you guys just want a little extra layer of security. I mean, $16, you can't, it can't hurt to get it. I mean, that's almost a necessity for some people. Uh, so yeah, definitely check that one out. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the next product in today's stream, guys. We're going to be talking about the Skull Candy voice control adventure ready headphones we're going to be doing a live unboxing and testing of this product so i'm going to switch over to the product screen once again all right guys and so we are back on the tonor tc20 as well so this is a microphone check again for that tonor tc20 so let's go ahead and get these unboxed and test it out once i have these unboxed and paired up to my phone um, I will switch back over and give you guys my live impression 
on how it sounds. I, I can never open a box. I don't have the patience to open it the way it's designed to. Let me know in the chat if you guys are like that too. So I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard of Skull Candy. I mean, they've been around for ever. So here's a little let's get started uh, pamphlet right here. And so as you guys can see right here, super simple unboxing. There's not much to it. Looks like this is probably going to be your charger cable. So you have, oh no, extra ear tips too. So that's pretty cool that you get quite a few different ear tips in this system. And then you also get a warranty card. It has a one year global warranty. That's actually really cool. They stand by their products a lot. Skull Candy always has. And then you have your little, I mean, little, little, <laughs> look at that. Look at the charging cable, super tiny. But they are, they are wireless, so I guess I can understand that. Pretty big carrying case. As you guys can see here, it's got that nice Skull Candy logo right on top of it. Looks pretty nice. And then opening these up, as you guys can see here, uh, super simple. I mean, super simple case. It feels pretty quality. On the back here, you got your little USB-C charging port. Obviously, you don't have to use that little two inch. You don't have to use that little two inch cable right here. But let's go ahead and get these open. As you guys can see here, you have a battery level indicator, so they do send them charged, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and take these out, and we're going to go ahead and get them paired up to my phone. Let me unpair from the Lursgo that we were doing earlier. All right, and let's get these turned on so we can test them out. So there we go. We got that off. We'll get this off as well. So we'll get these paired up. Said ready to pair. And as you guys can see here, it popped up push active. So we will go ahead and connect them. So they are connected. So let's go ahead and switch back over to the live cam. Uh, you guys aren't going to be able to hear them, but I will give you my honest first impressions on what they sound like. Right, guys so we are back now to the live screen now, i don't use earphones like this so i might look pretty stupid trying to put these on i think i have a generally good idea of how they go i mean i know they go around your ear or maybe this maybe i have it backwards i don't know how to do these like i've never every single time i've gotten headphones like this i've never understood them that's definitely how it goes right there we'll get this one in too so these are active headphones. Um, so they they have that little band to kind of keep them from falling out. And as you guys can see here, they're definitely not coming out. But the most important thing is how they sound. So let's go ahead and play some music so I can hear how they sound. And they actually do have that active uh, noise cancellation right now. Uh, so I can't really hear too much out of it. Um, let me see if I can switch between the modes. And there we go. So I got music playing. I'm going to play some music and I'll let you guys know what I think. If I get loud, it's because I can't hear what I'm saying. Oh, wow. These sound good. Really good. Whoa. Whoa. These get so loud. I don't. I, I doubt you guys can hear it, but these are loud. These are way louder. So I have Apple AirPod Pros, and these are way louder than that. I don't know if I'm screaming right now, but they have a lot of bass too, like a lot of bass. These sound really, really good at a fraction, literally like a fourth of the cost of my AirPods. Let me continue some music real quick. Let me play something that's notorious for bass. So let's try this. I mean, I, I wish you guys could hear what I'm listening to, but it wouldn't really help anyways. Yeah, they sound good. Yeah. Woo! That's, 
Yeah, okay, guys, these sound amazing. And uh, while I was just kind of listening to the music right here, um, if you download the Skull Candy app, these are actually voice control. So basically, if you have the Skull Candy app installed on your Android or iOS device, you can just say, hey, Skull Candy. So almost like Siri or Google, uh, they are voice controlled. So that's absolutely awesome. Um, they do have a bunch of features that you can control with the little uh, button that is on each of the earpieces. Uh, so one is like, if you press it one time, it'll answer the call. If you press it another time uh, while you're listening to music, it'll pause it or unpause it. If you press it two times, volume will go up. You have to do them independently from the reading here. If you press once, release, press again and hold, um, that's actually going to allow you to pair a new device. So these sound super, super good. And as you guys can see here, I mean, they're not gonna fall out. I couldn't get them to fall out no matter what I was doing. Um, so yeah, if you guys have been looking to get yourself some new like active headphones, uh, definitely check these ones out from Skull Candy. They're super nice. And the quality on these, it sounds so good. So yeah, guys, definitely check these out. Yeah, that's really nice. And then once you're done, like I said, they are wireless charging with this little charging case. All you have to do is just throw them back in the charging case. Let me see. Well, of course, see, of course, it, it can't be difficult for me. I mean, it can't be easy for me. And as you guys can see here, you have a little indicator right here that they're charging. Close it up. You guys are good to go. When the when the case when the case dies, all you have to do is plug in that micro USB, and you're good to go. So these are really good for people that work out or are constantly on the move. Definitely check these ones out from Skull Candy. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to this convertible tote day bag um this is by a company called see you i i'm not even gonna try it let's just let's just check out the video and see what it's about and also one more time guys by the way this week's secret code word for the xbox series x giveaway i said that right xbox series x um is going to be amber dragon so if you have not entered that giveaway justin's gonna put it in the chat now uh go ahead and enter that giveaway uh amber dragon is the code word i'm only going to say it one more time on this stream so if you guys didn't know that's the code word now you do and let's get in and check out this backpack hey, i'm gonna be showing you guys this awesome bag here so it's already packaged really nice we, we like it when they don't use a ton of plastic that's always good this one bag does the trick let's get this out of here That's a really cute tote bag. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to unpack here. Okay, firstly, this is adorable. It's got the nice little pockets on the front. Zippers seem to work well. So yeah, it's got the two big like cargo yes. style pockets. So Cindy, I just looked at the um, I just looked at the uh, product page and it says waterproof nylon material. Now obviously this isn't going to be like completely waterproof like you could have your laptop and then throw it in a pool waterproof but it is going to be like water resistant so if it's raining you shouldn't have any issues or have to worry too much about like whatever's inside of this backpack getting wet so you're definitely covered there it's a lot of stuff in there i've almost put my trail mix in there <laughs> got a nice little velcro pocket on the outside here which is really nice Side. These zippers work really well. You got like a nice like little pocket for like maybe a laptop or an iPad or something like that. It's got this nice little elastic band that's bound by a Velcro strip. So if you need to slide something in there, you don't have to worry about it falling out or anything, which is super nice. It comes with a little charger. Does it have a power bank in it? Maybe not. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, but it comes with a charger. There's a charger for it. I really like that. It's not necessarily, it's like off-white, almost like a cream white. I really like that. And it does have that pass-through USB cable, like Mr. Dragon Blogger said. Um, so you're basically, you can put a portable charger inside of it um, and have it run to the cable that is included in the backpack. So if you need to charge something on the go and just have it in your pocket, you can just plug in that USB cable to the side of the backpack and you're just good to go. <laughs> it has a charging port. Where's the charging port? Copper. 
can you find the charging port? Can you port? find the charging port, Hopper? See, Justin, you're not the only you're not the only uh, dog owner whose dog is nosy. Do you know where it is? <laughs> I didn't know it came with a charging port. This is news to me. This is me. And then you guys look right here. You can see the cat in the background. Like, hey, are we talking about bags here, man? New information, Hopper. Where is it? It may not. Oh, here it is. Oh. Oh, Hopper, look at that. It's on the outside. That's super cool. I had no idea this had a charging port on it. Okay. Okay. Now we, this is this is brand new. This this is totally okay. Hang on. This changes the game. This changes the game. Okay. So you, what do you do? You plug your plug this into there. Yeah. Yeah. So effectively, while you're traveling, your devices can charge. Yeah. This would be a really good hiking bag. Oh. Is that right? <laughs> and so I think what she's just trying to show here, guys, is that it is USB. Um, so what that cable, uh, she just might have got a little bit confused. What the cable is for is to have um, internal of the bag so you can have, like, your portable charger inside of the bag running from okay she does figure it out okay cool just making sure well i have to figure out how it works okay hang on is this like a little cap no oh to that pocket and it's just gonna charge or if you ever carry around like bluetooth speakers or things like that while you're hiking that'd be super good because it also has the backpack straps so this would be a really, really good hiking backpack. I had no idea before opening it that- Man, her, if, if anything is telling you, if you guys are on the fence about buying this bag, if anything is telling you to get this bag right now, it's that dog. Look how interested he is in that bag. It has this luxury. This is super nice. So then all you'd have to do is take this USB in and connect it to your, um, your, oh my gosh, your battery device. So your power bank or whatever you're using, you would attach this to it and then your device can be attached through here or vice versa, or vice versa. But that's super cool. And it's got this nice little like extra little bag back here. That's super nice. So then the straps, they actually come undone so that you can pull them out behind this. All right. Make the straps a little bit longer, but what do we think? How's it look? It's pretty nice. Yeah, you may need to adjust the straps. Yeah, so it's but... a little bit lower. I think this would be a really good hiking. All right, guys. So super nice bag there. Um, if you guys have been looking to get a new backpack or a day bag, uh, Cindy, I know you said you were pretty interested in it. So if any of you guys are interested, go ahead and pick yourself up one of those today. These day bags and these. Um, just kind of like more modern bags are getting really popular now and this one seems like it's a really good price Especially since it's water resistant. So definitely check that out We're gonna be switching over to the final product for today's stream the go tracks GXL v2 Commuting electric scooter. These are getting really popular too, especially in big cities and talking about how remote I was It's really funny my town that only has about 5,000 people in it um has these all over the city like as a city project it's hilarious there's just people riding scooters all over the place so let's go ahead and switch over to this last video for today's stream and by the way guys if you guys like watching video games i'm going to be doing an eight hour stream minimum on saturday on twitch eight hours long time and depending on how we feel after those eight hours me and briley might actually ooh. That is weird. One second, let me see if I maybe copied the wrong link here. One second. Maybe I did something wrong. I did, I definitely did something wrong. That's my fault, guys. Here we go, all right, let's check this out. Hey everyone, <laughs> Jason Weiler here, and today we're going to be checking out the GoTrax Rival electric scooter. This is an excellent op option to consider if you are looking for something that is smaller more port i like the way i like the way you said that justin minecraft he is playing like yoda portable that you can use for daily commute or even just a quick run to the convenience store or even the grocery store when you first open the box you're going to receive it in two don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. 
two separate pieces. You'll have the handle, the top handle, the attached, and then just the base itself. There is some assembly required. It is very simple, very easy. Of course, refer to the manual and it'll guide you through. Basically, all it is asking you to There's do There's another is pet in the video right there. Yep. Attach the top handlebar piece and to be able to insert your brake line properly so that you have working brakes when you take it out for your ride. The scooter is actually pretty neat. It is going to sport a 250 watt motor, which will allow you to go roughly up, up to 15 miles per hour for the max speed and about nine to 12 miles for the max distance. Okay, Justin, what do I have? It takes about three to four hours to fully charge. When you first get it, definitely make sure to charge it up to full battery before taking eh, One cat, three dogs, and an alligator snapping turtle. Picking it up, it won't take that long. It also has disc brakes for their safety system. The yeah. We've had uh, three dogs for since... 20, 2020 Christmas, yeah. The eight and a half inch airfield tires provides for a smooth ride. And of course it is portable and you're able to fold it to keep it where. Foster, you know, I have fully enchanted blast protection diamond armor, netherite, so I don't need a shield. No, I'm just kidding. Whatever you need to. We took the scooter out for a test ride, and it is pretty much what you would expect. Definitely take into consideration what kind of commute you may have. If you have a lot of uphills, that's going to definitely cut some of your speed as well as the mileage that you're able to travel. The eight and a half inch tires definitely give it a little bit of a smoother ride. Yeah, that's an incredible range. Although, although his angle of, uh, although his angle of filming kind of makes me nauseous. But it doesn't replace a actual shock absorbing system, so you're still going to feel a lot of those bumps and cracks as you travel. Having the fatter tires definitely helps it out so you're not feeling every little minimal crack from there, which is actually pretty neat. Overall, definitely great. Had to shoo the, the wife away, guys. Sorry. <laughs> when you're living in an area that needs to have that easy commute. The mileage definitely helps out on a single charge, depending on what your commute's gonna be like. You may not have to charge it, except for every other day, every third day, possibly even more. All right, guys, so that was the GoTrax GXL V2 commuting electric scooter. So if you guys have been looking to get a new scooter, I mean, it doesn't have to be strictly for commuting. If you guys live in a big city, that would definitely be worth it for, um, you know, a 12.5 mile battery range. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, 350 bucks, save you a ton of money on gas, especially with gas prices now. Um, yeah, definitely check that out from GoTrax. Super awesome product. You guys go ahead. If you're not entered, enter the giveaway for the $5 Amazon gift card. 30 seconds left. Dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. The link is in the chat now enter live and if you guys are in the chat right now and you guys aren't following make sure you hit that follow button if you're on phone you just have to scroll down a little bit sorry i kind of acid reflux there that sucks um yeah definitely hit that follow button if you guys are on computer you guys can see it right under me right about here if you guys are on computer hit that follow button definitely we do giveaways like this all the time and we are doing an xbox series x giveaway and the code word to enter to get your tickets this week is Amber Dragon. One more time, the code word for the Xbox Series X is Amber Dragon. Um, we're going to go ahead and roll now and pick our first winner for the $5 Amazon gift card. Um, so you guys go ahead and uh, 
congratulate. Oh, Jimmy L. Jimmy L, are you here? Jimmy's usually here. Hurry, Jimmy. He's got to clean his dog. <laughs> There's mud everywhere, Jimmy. Jimmy L, are you in the chat? Are you in the chat? Are you in the chat? Jimmy L, about 30 seconds left, Jimmy. Anybody new just joining the chat, go ahead and hit that follow button. We're giving away an Xbox Series X. The code word this week to get your entries is amber dragon jimmy l congratulations on the five dollar amazon gift card don't spend it all on one item i'm sure you can find tons of item on under five dollars uh we're gonna go ahead and roll for the second winner now and let's get a drum roll congratulations to jimmy l you guys are great sports in the chat angelica v are you here angelica v if you are in the chat you have won a five dollar amazon gift card congratulations awesome well, congratulations. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today's stream. If you guys liked any of the products that we showcased today, tons of awesome products, tons of awesome deals, go ahead and pick yourself up, whatever it is that caught your eye. And I will be seeing you guys on Friday for my stream. I believe it's going to be a potato stream. So if you guys like potatoes like me or want to just see me mess up with um, potatoes for an entire hour and potato products, definitely check that out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.